There's a new way of getting a job in the mines. It's turning the tables on employers in the favour of workers. Companies bid against each other to snag skilled staff. Tracy Moran explains. The mining industry says there's a skills shortage, but getting a job isn't easy. How long have you been trying to get into the mines? Uh, on and off for five, ten years. It's a pretty hard thing to crack into. A new jobs website is trying to change that. 23,000 resumes, 800 companies. The FIFO Bids website aims to find the perfect match. Could be thought about as a dating website, but for work. Companies pay to bid for the staff they like. We basically try to flip the process. Um, basically change the process on its head and so let people make themselves available and let companies find in the workers. Job seekers create a free online CV including how much they want to be paid. I like this person and I put an interview offer for this person. Blue collar workers retrenched in the East have been criticised for not being willing to move but 26% of people using FIFO bids say they are willing to head west. Like Stephen Matheson, a chef who just moved here from Victoria chasing the mining dollar. Over here there's so many jobs everywhere you look there's just hundreds and hundreds of chef jobs so you know mines and not mines. WA's unemployment rate is the lowest in the country. Three 0.6% with the mining boom expected to create thousands more jobs into the future. Authorities say we simply don't have the skills or manpower to fill them. But it's not clear how many people have actually got a job through the site. We will give those information as soon as there is a sensible number that makes statistics. Tracy Moran, 7 News.